Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Glad to have our TV audience as well as our radio audience. Thanks to our great friends at the Biz TV Network and over there at Bloomberg Radio. If you want to spend a couple of minutes uh, talking about a wonderful place that I went to in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a wonderful bre- bed and breakfast. And in fact, uh, a lot of information is about it right now on the screen. I want you to take note of that. Uh, the Aisling uh, Bed and Breakfast in Boston. It was an incredible experience. And I want you to check it out. And uh, I think you're going to find it an, an, an amazing place to stay. Uh, I haven't done bed and breakfasts for years. And I've now begun to do them with my extensive business, business travel. I'm traveling a lot of business. And I love the home away from home feel that you can only get from that type of travel. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, very excited about this place. Love the folks who manage it, who run it. And uh, it's a, a married couple that uh, have uh, degrees in, in uh medicine as well as law, incredibly intelligent. And so I, half the experience was just enjoying their company. And so it was awesome. Uh, first uh, segment, though, I'm going to just spend just a couple of minutes with a guest that I'm going to have on in a future show in the next couple of minutes, a couple of weeks, rather, Bruce I. Newman. And it's the Marketing Revolution in Politics is the name of the book. And uh, Bruce, good to talk to you. How are you, sir? The same. Very good, Kevin. You know, you, you point out in your book, which I, I got, I only got a couple of days ago, so I'm, I'm really glad that I'll be able to have it completed before we get you on the show here in the next couple of weeks. But you point out in the book that uh, there's a lot for businesses to learn when it comes to politics. Kind of give us a taste of what that includes. Well, the, uh, the idea behind the book is that it's a case study of the 2008 and 2012 Barack Obama presidential campaigns which for a business represents extreme, an extreme environment, an environment where the company is in constant crisis mode as a political campaign is, constantly being evaluated 24-7 by the media, having negative attacks going against you. What does that mean for a business for profit or for a nonprofit company? It means that you have to carry out research, you have to use big data, you have to understand customer analytics, and micro-target your message and stay in constant contact in order to ensure that your brand is resonating with your audience. Because in politics, as we follow the current campaign and you have a favorite candidate, in effect that candidate is a brand, just like a brand for any company. And that brand is resonating on a day-to-day basis, being evaluated, discussed in the news, on CNN, watching your candidates in debate. So for a company, It's not as intense to see your brand fluctuate as a candidate does in the polls going up and down. So it represents lessons for a company to understand how to use technology to stay in touch with your customers, to understand what they think and what they value about what it is that you sell in the form of products and services. Right. You know, a great example I would think would be uh, Donald Trump's shocking loss uh, is what they're calling it in Iowa, and then his uh, bounce back back in New Hampshire. And there's what, what, a week a week difference? He had to make a lot of adjustments really quickly. A week is an eternity <laughs> in this campaign cycle, yeah. and it really indicates to the viewer, to, to the audience, it indicates that we are in a different era in politics today. We're moving into the e-commerce model. No different from someone ordering from Amazon and Amazon going direct to the customer. The reason Donald Trump has been able to succeed is he has circumvented the traditional distribution channel in politics. He does not have to rely on the party apparatus. He doesn't need the nod and the okay from the party elites. And he can go direct to the citizens, to the voters who support him, and they then come to his events who he contacts through social media, and there's one requirement to get into a Donald Trump event, and that is that you share your email address with the organizers. And this is the way Donald Trump has built his database. And, of course, one has to understand that if you don't have a message that resonates with an audience, as Donald Trump does, you can't build your brand. And, of course, his brand is based on an anti-establishment sentiment, and it's based on a brand that's consistently indicating to his followers, at least, 
that he's a strong leader and he will make changes in society. Yeah, even though he is uh, quintessentially a an, an establishment guy when you look at the totality of his life, which probably says something else about his followers. But we'll talk more about that when we get you on the show. But but real quickly, uh, business background or political background? My background is all in marketing. I have a BS, MBA, and PhD in marketing, all from the University of Illinois in Champaign. And when I did my dissertation back in 1980, I decided to apply marketing to politics, and I've been in the political marketing business for over 30 years now. But the new paradigm of the book that I wrote, The Marketing Revolution in Politics, is that instead of us talking about the application of business to politics, this book talks about the idea that now the application of marketing in politics from the 2008-2012 Obama campaigns is so sophisticated that we can now go back to the business market and introduce the lessons I talk about in my book to teach corporations and nonprofits how to be better marketers. Bruce I. Newman is his name, and the book is called, again, The Marketing Revolution in Politics. Your website, real quickly. My website is www.politicalmarketing.com. Politicalmarketing.com. Check it out. Check out the book, too. It's awesome. By the time I, I, I get you back on, Bruce, I'll be well prepared to ask you lots of, uh, I hope, informative questions for the audience. Thanks so much for being with us. Certainly, Kevin. All right. When we come back, Jane Bryan Quinn right here on The Price of Business. Mm-hmm. 